Okay, everybody, I had to get on the bus. The bus was coming, and then plus I seen uh, a young girl that used to date my cousin um, years ago. Okay, so what I wanted to come to the, talk to you guys about was night terrors. I don't know how many of you guys know about night terrors, but um, they're not a good thing. I have a seven-year-old son who has night terrors. He, what he does is he, um, he will sleep and then he wakes up in the middle of the night. And when he wakes up in the middle of the night, he will wake up and it's kind of almost as if he's like, he's sleepwalking. That's what they said it's, it is, it's sleepwalking and it's kind of shaking up, sleepwalking, dreamer. And it's just random stuff that you're just thinking about. So he'll be asleep and he'll wake up and he'll wake up almost dazed and confused majority of the time. And then he will ramble. So like, say for instance, he'll wake up and he'll be wide eyed, eyes red. And he'll be like, um, a mom did, uh, did, uh, and then he'll turn back around. He'll be like, I said, I'm sorry. And he'll be really, 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 really upset. And he'll be shaking. And when I first seen him do this, I didn't know what it was. It scared the living daylights out of me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is he doing this? Why does he have these, these episodes? And I went and I said, what is it? And so I Googled it and it said night terrors. Okay. So when I went online, one of my friends said that her son had had it since he was a baby and he still have him till this day. And he's about seven years old. And so now when he has him and over the time he's had had them, um, I know how to get him to calm down. I don't panic anymore. I, with the first two times I've seen him do it, I panic. But now I know I, 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 what I do is I just go to him. I try my best. I say, wake up, wake up. You're still asleep. And he will wake up. He'll still be, sh uh, shaking, but he'll wake up and he'll, um, but his eyes won't be closed. Mind you, his eyes is wide open. He's sleepwalking and he'll wake up and then he'll be shaking still. And I'm able to calm him down. I give him water and I put a little bit of water, pat his head down with water and then I tell him, breathe, take deep breath and breathe and just breathe. Okay. And that's how I get him through a night terror. And then I tell him, do you want to lay down on the living room couch where I'm at, you know, where I'm sitting, or do you want to go back to your room and go to bed? Sometimes he say, stay in the living room and lay on the couch. Sometimes he'll go back in the room and he usually goes back to sleep. And then it goes away. He won't wake up. He won't wake up like two or three times doing it. It's just one time. And it's random. It's not every night. It's not every other night. It's random. So you never know when he might wake up and have one. You never know. So my pastor prayed for him two weeks ago. Put the holy oil on his forehead and, and you know, patted him down with it. And he hasn't had a night terror since. Okay. So let me tell you guys something. I don't know what a majority of you believe in, but I do believe that there is something in the universe. Sometimes I have my doubts about God. I do. Okay. I don't care what nobody say. And I know that you do too, but and most might say your faith got to be strong. My faith is strong, but I still have doubts. Okay. So what I do when I have doubts is I just I reverse it and I just tell myself, no, there's something in the universe. Don't ever, ever feel like it's nothing out there because it is. OK, or we wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now, such as waking up, walking around, talking, seeing, living and so on and so forth. If it wasn't something out there, we're not just waking up on a fluke. We're not doing it on our own. Our bodies is not just saying, wake up. No, it's not. Okay. Um, but when you, if you have a child that has night terrors, please, please. I hope you're looking at this video. These are some things that you can do. 
when you are, if you are in church, have your pastor pray for your child, okay? And put that either holy water or oil on that child while he's praying, okay? If you're not in church, I want to, um, to tell you to, if you're, if you don't know what to do, those are the things that you can do that I was doing prior to having my pastor pray. You go and you, you try to calm your child down. Don't panic and tell everybody around him not to panic because if everybody panic, he's going to panic. It's bad enough. He's panicking or she is panicking already, like to a, to a shaky, scary point. And you trying to get them from doing that. You don't want them screaming and hollering and passing out because that can happen. It didn't have happened to my son. And um, you want them to deep breathe, breathe, take deep breaths. You want to calm them. So if you can hug them, hug them. And, um, and then you get them, you get some water or a towel and you pat them down. You pat them down. You have them sip on some water. Okay. And you tell them to take deep breaths and breathe. And then you take it from there. Okay. So just, you know, just don't, don't, don't scream and holler with them. Don't panic with them. Just be calm, be calm. And, 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 and then they will, eventually it will die down. And when it does, all you have to do is just calm down to try not to ask them about what's going on because I have, and I don't get nowhere. I asked my son, well, what was your night terror about? And usually he'll be like, I had a night terror last night. And I'd be like, yes, you did. And I'll leave it alone. Okay. Sometimes he can say, mom, I think I woke up with a night terror. Did I? I say yes. Okay. So, um, now, um, and that's it. That's all you really need to do when, when your kids are having night terrors. Don't panic. Don't do anything. And if you guys have any other questions regarding this, Google night terrors. Um, try to study it. And if you need some support and you want someone to talk to, I'm always here. Okay. You guys, I know you guys like that lady always want to talk. She always want to give advice, but uh, Hey, you guys be blessed and have a good day. I love you all. Okay. Bye.